Alright, now like we've done before, we are going to delete the half of the mesh that we're not going to need any longer. This will save us from doing half of the work. So with those polygons selected, I'm going to delete that to do the same to the body. So front view, grabbing those polygons that we no longer are going to need. And all of this, uh, again, uh, is going to be a whole lot easier if you work with very light mesh. The heavier your mesh, the more problems you're going to have. You'll have plenty of opportunity after you get the base mesh in to go in and start adding polygons and definition and having fun. But for the time being, we just want to get our base mesh in. So now you can see that uh, we have two meshes that we need to join. We need to decide which polygons we're going to get in here and remove so that we can attach the head to the polygons or the um, body. Now I like uh, this um, polygon. I'm not going to delete that one. Um, I don't need this one or this one, so I'll go ahead and delete those. Let's see. I probably don't need that one either. Let's take another look. Since I think I am going to keep that one, then I will hang on to this one for the time being. Just until I'm absolutely sure. Alright, so that said, I'm, what I'm going to do now is uh, go to my neck and I'm going to begin to snap these um, right up here, the snap tool, if I right click uh, I can make sure that it's going to be um, snapping two vertices and um, so what I'm going to be doing now is uh, simply working around, I'm turn this invisible, see through and uh, working around this to connect these up to see how well they're connecting up and uh, so that in mind what we're going to do is um, go ahead and snap this one to that seems to work okay Let's put this one over here we might be okay with that one Let's do that. Let's see what's going on here in the front. Let's take this one here. Go more than we need back here. Let's go there. There's nothing in between here. Let's see. Yes, let's define the chin a bit. So I think what we're going to do is um, follow this one up, come here with it. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here in the back. This one's. So now, what kind of leftovers do we have here? Alright, so if we try to snap off for the moment and oops, and go in here and select these, pull them down, let's see, would that be a wise move? Do we need those extra drawn geometry in there right now? Let's add that back in. Let's see here. Is that the place? Right. Yeah. What? What works out best is going light, so we're going to um, add that loop back in later. What we're going
going to do right now is is grab these birds and minimize this geometry so that we can get the head on and then we can go back and deal with putting the edge loops again later. That's the best option here. We have a lot of extra geometry here. Just gonna get rid of, snap it down just to make sure that we're not missing anything before we actually delete anything. So, alright, so with the uh, polygons that we, oops, seeing that this is coming up here, so let's turn off the snap, draw this down, and keep that one so that we have an edge loop here. Alright, so everything's cleaned up in here. Let's pop to something. What's that? Okay. Alright, so now we have a lot of extra polygons hidden in here just because in our cleanup we snapped them down. So what we're going to do is go to left view, zoom into the area that we're working on, and we're going to grab all the polygons in this area, and we're going to um, deselect the ones that we're going to want to keep. And that way everything that we don't want to keep is still selected, and we'll delete that and make it nice and clean. Now on the head portion, we have some also in here that we're not going to use any longer. Uh, mm -hmm. That still has me concerned because I know that I have a nice whoops, chin coming down in here. So I think what we'll do is back this one up over here. <coughs> and deal with that one later. Okay, now we'll come in here and delete the polygon that we don't need, which is on this piece of geometry. Delete. Okay. And now we have this lot to deal with right there. All right, so let's turn off snap. Now we're going to select our base mesh and attach the head. Okay, now it's all one piece. We're going to Make sure that everything is welded here. So we'll grab those birds, come down here to weld, and make sure that, oops, we're not welding things together. So I think we have everything. Now we'll come in here and move this forward. <coughs> And add a little bit of to where it belongs. Keeping that quad in there so that we can use that for that chin. This would be the best idea there. Alright. Position the roots a little bit. 
clean up the edge loops a little bit more. <coughs> All right, now we have something that's looking usable to begin investing time into edge loops. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that edge faces off, grab our polygons, go down here again to Clear all, all in one smoothing group, and we can see that we've got head and neck that are fairly low poly, working fairly well together for the time being. Go ahead and mirror that over. Okay, okay attach that other side. Oh my God, Oops, front. Okay. Go down to the area where see there's closest verts. Weld that. Okay, select. Okay. Grab all those polygons. They're all from all in one smoothing group. And check see through so that you can see that we've got a pretty good base mesh going here now. Very light mesh, uh, but beginning of the character that we're going for. Alright, in the next lesson, we'll start detailing out the torso.